year, my favorite holiday. My bir is a birthday a proper reason for celebration? I always thought that achievement of values is a proper reason for celebration. Just being born on a particular day isn't an achievement. So do you think celebrating birthdays has no meaning? I think it has meaning. I was brought up on uh, the importance of birthdays and I'm 82. I still insist on regular birthday uh, ceremony with a cake, uh, with candles, uh, the wish, happy birthday being sung, etc. What is the achievement? Me. Now, when I'm born, it's not an achievement, yes, but it's the potential. And you can't celebrate it anyway. You can't give a birthday cake to a baby who's crying just out of the womb and say, here, this is a celebration. So this is just the potential. But thereafter and increasingly, it is yourself and your life that you are celebrating. Now contrast this, for instance, in, in Russia, where they never heard of a birthday. They have a saint's day and they celebrate when Saint whatever, Basil or whatever, was born. Because the saint is what's important, not you. It's specifically a Western idea that you yourself are being celebrated, and therefore the holiday is you, your birth. I do think, therefore, that celebrating birthdays has a, a meaning. And even, I've even analyzed some or other, uh, uh, what I regard as the most uh, important aspect of it. Now, I know this is going to be taken as all wrong, but I regard the most important part of the birthday when you have to blow out the candles, when you have to make a wish. And I always try to do it this way, not think in advance of what the wish would be. Just keep it blank. And then when they say, okay, here's the cake with the candles, at that moment, a wish comes into my mind. And sometimes, of course, I know perfectly well what it's going to be. Please let me finish this book this year. Uh, but uh, several times, a wish has come into my mind that really surprises me. Because I've paved the way by closing out all other wishes and I'm all ready. And something will come to me and say, I never would have dreamed that that's something I wanted. Now, sometimes it doesn't hold up. But sometimes it has given me a direction I'm not trying to say my whole life is on, you know, the, the results of blowing out the candles. I don't hold to the candles, by the way. In other words, I blow them out, but I don't say if I miss five, it's going to be five years. That part I don't accept. But I have found it a good exercise. Interesting. It makes the birthday almost uh, suspenseful. So it's an achievement and an insight. Again, I don't say you have to, and that is certainly not objectivism. But I think I'm known among my friends as the only one who absolutely has to have a birthday party. And I don't think I've ever, ever missed one. My mother was very strongly in favor of that. Her problem was that she believed that the cake should be divided equally among the guests. And of course, I always wanted all the cake uh, and still do. Uh, so uh, she was an egalitarian, so to speak. That's just a joke.